Hello everyone, this is Grammar for Wednesday, February 24th, 2021. We're going to use has, have, and had. We're going to still work on that this week. Um, you're going to need the, pay, the grammar page that says Wednesday, and it's going to look like this. Have, has, had. Wednesday, February 24th. That's what you're going to need for today. So this is Wednesday, February 24th, 2021, has, have, had. If it's one subject, we use has. That means it's happening right now. Right now, Nan has. Right now, a dog has. We can finish the sentence. Right now, the library has books or people in it. So if it's one subject, we use has for present tense. If it's two or more subjects, we use have for present tense. A dog and cat have food. Nan and Bob have a house. Libraries have books. So has is for one subject, and it means it's happening right now. Have for two or more subjects, and that means it's happening right now. Jill is one person. Right now, she has a nice warm coat. Jeff and Mike are two people, and right now, they have nice warm coats. So, has is for one subject, have is for two subject subjects, and has and have means it's happening right now. Had is the past tense. It means it's already happened. Sam had a glass of milk. That's one and then we have still had for two or more um, subjects. Sam and Tim had a glass of milk. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to our worksheet here. Have is an irregular verb. It has three forms, has, have, and had. Present tense, we use has, so happening right now. We use has if it's one subject. We use have if it's two or more subjects. If it's past tense, we use had, okay? If it's I or you, we use have. I have, you have. All right. Um, here's, so here, these are our choices. We're either going to write has, have, or had. Okay. Carly blank to go to practice after school. Carly blank to go to practice after school. So tonight after school, Carly is one person. So we're going to use has. Okay. Now, I'm going to read these to you, and you're going to choose has, have, or had. Remember, had is past tense. It's already happened. Number two, we blank tacos for dinner last night. Last night tells you it's already happened. So are you going to write has, have, or had? We blank tacos for dinner last night. Number three, my sister and I, that's two or more people, blank a pet dog named Daisy. So right now, so you're going to either use has or have on number three because it's happening right now. My sister and I are two people. If it's two subjects, do you use has or have to show it's happening right now? My sister and I has a pet dog named Daisy. My sister and I have a pet dog named Daisy. Okay. Number four, Jaden and Sarah blank popcorn at the movie yesterday. So we need a past tense form. The past tense is what? Yesterday, Jaden and Sarah blank popcorn at the movie. 
Jaden and Sarah has popcorn at the movie yesterday. Jaden and Sarah have popcorn at the movie yesterday. Or Jaden and Sarah had popcorn at the movie yesterday. Has, have, or had. You need the past tense because it's already happened. Okay, number five. I blank a book about animals in my desk. So right now, I has a book. Or right now, I have a book. Remember, if it's I or you, what do you use, has or have? That's the tricky one. Number six. An elephant blank a long trunk. Right now, an elephant blank a long trunk. Elephant is one subject. Do you want has or have a long trunk? Okay, number seven. You has to pick up the books on the floor right now, or you have to help pick up the books on the floor right now? What do we use for you? You has or you have? Number eight. He has... Pretzels for lunch today. He have pretzels for lunch today. He is one subject. He has pretzels for lunch today. He have pretzels for lunch today. You're going to write either has or have. Present tense, it's happening today. In number nine. I blank to clean my room on the weekend before I could play. Now, this is tricky. We need past tense. Before I could play, that's past tense. So we need the past tense form of has, have, or had. Or which, what is the past tense form? Has, have, or had. Yes, let's just say it like this. Last weekend, I blank to clean my room. What would go there? Last weekend, I blank to clean my room. Last weekend, I has to clean my room. Last weekend, I have to clean my room. Last weekend, I had to clean my room. So we need the past tense. And 10. Past tense again. She blanked to babysit her cousin, so I didn't see her on Saturday. Past tense. Last Saturday, she blanked to babysit her cousin. Last Saturday, she has to babysit her cousin. Last Saturday, she have to babysit her cousin. Last Saturday, she had to babysit her cousin. So we need the past tense form of has, have, or had. She, she has to babysit her cousin on Saturday, so I didn't see her on Saturday. She have to babysit her cousin, so I didn't see her on Saturday. She had to babysit her cousin, so I didn't get to see her on Saturday. Is it has, have, or ha has, have, or had? And then 11, you're going to write a sentence using has... And 12, you're going to write a sentence using have. 11, write a sentence using has. And 12, write a sentence using have. And I want you to have at least five words on each line. Five words on each line. Okay. Do make sure that side is done. Go ahead and do your sentences. You're going to pause me. When you're done, you're going to upload it and send it to your teacher. Then you're going to come back to me for the other side.
Okay. My father blank a big car. My father is one person. We want present tense here. My father has a big car. My father have a big car. Tick the right one or check the right one. Has and write it on the big line. Has. Okay. You're going to do this page by yourself. Um, I'll read it, but I'm not going to tell you the answer, okay? Number two, the boys, two or more, has many books to read. The boys have many books to read. Tick or check the right answer and write it on this line. Number three, Suma and I, that's two people, blank a common pet. Suma and I has a common pet. Suma and I have a common pet. Take the right answer and write it on this line right here. Number four. The girls, two or more people, has blue eyes. The girls have blue eyes. Take the right answer and write it right here. And number five, the dog has, dog is one person, or not person, but thing. The dog has a long snout. The dog have a long snout. Tick the right answer and write it down below. Tick or check the right answer. The dog has a long snout, which means nose or the dog have a long snout. Okay, so when you're done with that page, you're gonna take a picture of it and send it to your teacher. So if it's one subject, oh, that's past tense, let's go back. If it's one subject, we use has, if it's two or more subjects, we use have. When we're talking about present tense happening right now, if we're talking about past tense, we are gonna use had. It's already happened. Okay, and that's grammar for Wednesday. I'll see you tomorrow, thank you.